Hey, um, it's me. After the video, actually, I had already recorded this, and the reason why it took me a long time to get this out, because I recorded this, I want to say Thursday or Wednesday, but I had like the worst luck that day, because my sound, for some reason, did not get recorded. Like, right before I started recording this, like, I played something to double check, and it was fine, but it didn't get it. And it took me a while to get this out because I wanted to edit this to the best that I could. I didn't want to just put, like, a music track in the background and talk over it. I wanted to actually try and edit it as much as I could. Well, I'm also gonna commentate over it. I'm just gonna talk. This is my first encounter, which I was so excited for. It's Kingdra. It's very excited. It's a very good mon to get. Um, there was actually some pretty good ones, but this was. But, but some of the good ones are not as common as like the other mons in this route. No, but as I was saying, it didn't record it. So as you'll see through this episode every single bit of sound was edited in by myself separately so I went back and I recorded all the music in the game from different bits from the Pokemon Center to the routes the gym leader even battles like I recorded like audio and then I cut it up individually and fit it in as best as I could um, you're not gonna hear like the sound effects like moves and like jumping over the ledges and going through doors and stuff like that but I did to my best and like try to match it up as well as I could um, it just sucked because I was really excited about this episode like I I had felt like so good like I was very happy with it like when I finished recording I was like yes this is a good episode I'm very happy with it it went much better because this was like the very first episode because the first two that I uploaded were basically one like one whole episode because I over recorded that like I had, wasn't paying attention I was like oh shit like this is like 40 minutes long like I can't post this as my first episode and like, like that's too long so I cut it up into two so generally this was like my second one so I had gotten all my like first episode like nervousness like I was like I felt more I felt better like I wasn't as stumbly like more, I was more talkative, just all that and more. So I was, I was really upset, um, and I didn't want to just put a track in the back and then just talk over. Like I wanted to actually, like, well, try as best as I could to get it almost the same. So like, so the audio is the same. It's just like imagine like if I'm talking now as if I'm recording as you hear in the music and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, and I caught this Kingdra too, which is freaking awesome because I didn't have that many balls at all. I was so happy. I freaking sold like all my paralyzed heals and my antidotes because I was like I need the balls like I really do because in case I run into anything because this route like was well there's a lot of grass pat a lot of grass patches in that route that I was going to go through and I don't want to risk running into anything good and not being able to catch it because I wanted to be sure um but I wanted to be sure that I was able to catch whatever I got there was actually some pretty good mons in this route that I like I was going through um, but some of the clips that I got, I had to, I had to try and get. I got another ball, which is good because I really needed balls. Like I was really low on it for, since the freaking frog get really, really fucked me up. No, but I was saying, um, um, oh yeah, I had to go through that. I wanted to get the, the cry of the Kingdra when I encountered it for the encounter. So I I kept going up and down. Um, full heal freaking awesome like really good early on especially since I sold all my all my antidotes and paralyzed heals I just felt like I needed the pokeballs more um yeah I kept seeing hypnos uh, I was just saying okay to like like not go back and forth so much um but, but yes, I was saying I was going through the route trying to get a Kingdra like trying to run into a Kingdra so I can record the audio of like the Kingdra's cry um so I went into a lot of, ran into it for once, so it wasn't coming. And I ran into some things, like, that I hadn't seen. 
I mean, that I only saw like once. Like, I only saw once and never again. Like, I kept running through, I kept running into the common, like, Pokemon that I, I kept running into was Psyduck, Hypno, Clefable. And then, and then I remember I'm going through, going through, going through, and I get, and then I run into a Sudowoodo. And then a Machamp, and I'm like, whoa. I was like, what the hell? I was like, okay. I was like, alright, I see. Like, well, I, I only ran into him once, so. It's crazy. Really rare, but yeah, I mean, like, Machamp would have been insane. But I'm very happy with with the King I'm not even gonna complain at all. It was really good. Um, you know, ironically speaking of the King the weekly turf procedure, I'm like, that's not a bad trade, but I got the King so it's kinda worthless in that sense. Um But yeah. Um I remember I was really excited because I was like, man, we got so many encounters that we can go. Like I think at like moments, if you see moments of me like pausing and stopping like I'm just like talking about like encounters and all this other stuff like I'm going like talking about those things uh but yeah I think I trained I trained up well I do I remember I trained up the Kingdra to like as best I could like I don't want to I didn't grind because I don't want to grind like right at the moment like I prefer to do the grinding off screen that way you don't just see me like battling I know that first episode I did that um but I wanted to make sure that I was that I was good for my encounter, because I don't know what I was going to run into. Um, oh no, but yeah, I think I was, I was saying in this part that I was going through the encounters. Yeah, I remember I was going through the encounters. I was like, I can get this, that, this. Because basically, for like next episode, which I'm going to record, obviously, which I'm looking forward to, and hopefully, no more sound issues, but just to make sure I'm going to go the extra, take the extra route, the extra mile, whatever, to like make sure that like it's being recorded because I don't want to go through this again because I was really excited like I was very happy with it and then to find out that the audio is non-existent it was so difficult just seeing that just made me so upset but yeah I think at this moment I'm going over like the different routes different encounters that I can get because I, I still need to go back and get my encounter from the the route north of the first route the one that's like leading down from Blackthorn City I want to say pretty sure uh but yeah and then i stopped to get that one and then i said i'm not even gonna bother to go back oh yeah i'm gonna go battle this trainer back here and try and get my king drop a little bit more um and then i still need to get the cherry grove cherry grove city encounter from fishing because after you beat Faulkner and you go downwards towards the i want to say union cave there's a fisher inside the there's a fisher inside the pokemon center and it gives you an old rod, and with that old rod, um, I can go back, obviously, and fish, so that's my plan, to go back, wait until I get the old rod to go all the way back, because I don't want to go all the way back to the first route for that encounter, because that's a little, even though it does, it's not that far, I don't feel like going all the way back there, until I get the old rod, and then I can also get my encounter in uh, Violet City, I can fish for it right there. So I was like, I can also fish, and then there's still the Bell Sprout Tower, and then the route to the left that connects where the Sudowoodo's at, and then down below, I can't go down, I can't go like to the route down below, because there's a guy blocking it, like you have to beat Faulkner, but then after that, you can go, and you can get an encounter there, and then you can get an encounter inside the cave that you go into, oh, and then the Ruins of Elf too, like there's so many encounters that we can get, oh, and then... Well, I don't know if I got it yet. I don't want to say anything. Uh, but you, I'll just say it. Like it's a big thing. I get an egg. Like you get an egg for beating Faulkner. You, you also get an egg for beating Faulkner from the assistant that they call you, or whatever. And you pick up the egg. Um, but yeah. So I was like talking about all those encounters. I'm like, okay. So I got all these coming up. So it should be exciting. Like I was excited. I'm like be able to grow our team like I already got a pretty stacked team as of now like I got the Zapdos I got the Dragonite I got the Kingdra like all these Pokemon are really good to have early on especially so I can't even complain at all so it's really good and then I got I was saying like I got another like weak move that I can use for catching Pokemon because as like time passes my Pokemon are gonna like get stronger obviously so my encounters so like I don't want to kill my encounters I don't want to take chance I like I don't want to take risks I don't want to kill anything so, like, this Kingdra came with Bubble, which is really good, so it's like another move that's not as strong that I can use for Weekend. 
so it's like another good addition. Um, and it's pretty tanky. Like I noticed, like it got pretty tanky mods. Like the Kingdra's pretty tanky, and and so is the Dragonite. And I'm obviously I'm zooming Zapdos is pretty good. Cause I mean, the legendary Pokemon. I don't want to say tanky, but it's still pretty good. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to grind. Like I just went back to battle that. Like I was thinking about going to Bellsprout Tower. But, like, to train, because I know the trainers in it, but I don't want to take a chance and running into, like, Pokemon, because I don't, at this point right now, I don't have any balls at all. Like, I didn't have anything, like, I was lucky to find that friend ball, and I think I had five balls before I went into that grass. I had five balls, and I want to say I used three, so I was lucky to catch it with three. I want to say three, two or three. I want to say three. So I was lucky, because it's a king drug, like... It shouldn't have been that easy. Like, I threw 22 of them for Alligator. I could not catch it. It was on, like, 2 or 3 health with Paralyze, and I could not catch it. So you just never know. So I was like, nah. So I was like, but yeah, so I was pretty lucky there. Uh, but yeah, that's so why I didn't want to go, I didn't go anywhere else at all. Like, I didn't want to get a chance to win these Pokemon. So I just, like, I'm gonna just go straight into this gym and hopefully go for the best. And it worked out pretty good because... I mean, the Pokemon were not too high. Okay, so, by the way, also, every single battle that I go into is gonna have the Hypno Cry because the um, person I battled had a Hypno. So, every single battle that you see me go into is gonna have the Hypno Cry at the beginning. Um, but yeah, like I know, I, I know it's kinda like, uh, kinda annoying just hearing Hypno Cry over and over. Whoa. Not over and over, but every battle, but oh well. I, like I said, I did as best as I could. Like, I don't want to just throw soundtrack in the back and then talk over it. Like, I actually wanted to, like, go a little more in depth and put some detail in it myself, even though it's just... Because it took... It was, like, a really... It was a pain. Well, not pain, but it, it was just really time-consuming. Like, I had to go, I had to record the tracks, and then cut them specifically and try and match it to, like, the part and all that. But, yeah, um... Hopefully for next episode, like I'm excited for that. So we got tons of encounters. We're gonna go towards Zalia. Should be good. Um. But yeah, this freaking Kingdra is so good to have. Like I said again, I'm very happy to have Kingdra. Um, better than like, I w obviously I'm not complaining at this point. Like any anything we can find is good since we only have two Mondra now on the team. Uh, but the Psyduck over Kingdra? Yeah, no. I don't think I don't think I would have said that at all. I mean, who, who would turn it down? Machop would have been cool. Not gonna lie, it would have been really cool to have. But Kingdra is great, also. See, so, we got our first win at that gym. I think he had tens. So I was like, okay. So this Mr. is ten. He only has one one Mon. So. Falconer should have 12s. That's that was my thought process to that. So I'm like, cause I don't want to train. Like I said, I don't want to go and grind up, grind it up to like same levels as the Dragonite and the Zapdos. I just wanted to go and cause I hope for the best. Just trying. The top one only had 10, so that means pretty sure 12. I don't want to say 14. That's way too high. Here comes the Hypno Cry in. <laughs> also, I know it's a little, what's it called? Like when you when you run to a trainer, like a little delayed because for some reason I forgot to press it right away. Like when I run into a trainer regularly, I don't wait and then go into it. So the fact that I did is kind of annoying because it kind of fucks up the audio in the sense of like it matching up because. Because I didn't click it right away. As I did when I did click through it. It sucks, but oh well. Because I'm not going to complain. Just happy to be able to like put this forward. Because I was like so happy for it. So to go through this was just too much work. I was like, not too much work. Because it was just... It was really upsetting. I'm going to switch out here. Because... Ampharos, just to be sure, 
even though I'm pretty sure it's Water Dragon as, well, uh, the electric, does it have resistance? I keep thinking that Dragon resists electricity, but then I, but then I remember that Dragon is also part flying, I believe, so, kind of even so, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just rambling, I'm just saying random shit, stupid shit, whatever, um, but yeah, switch out, Ampharos, I freaking love Ampharos, Ampharos is like, one of my favorite mods in this gen, I think it looks cool, I think it looks pretty cool, Ampharos, I used to always, when I used to play, like, Gold, Silver, all these games when I was a kid, I used to always run an Ampharos, always, And also, I need to get better. I need to get like better moves. Let's say mods now. Better moves for my freaking Dragonite. As I'm not just spamming Twister. All I have is Twister and what is the little rap? Like two low attacking moves. So it's gonna take it'll take a while to take anything out. Pretty easy. I just went into it like I'm not gonna bother going out to the Pokemon Center. I'm like whatever. I'll just go straight into the battle. Oh well. So I tried match it up with Mexico. I think this one is matched up the best compared to the other ones. Yeah, this one, I I want to say that I timed this one better than the other battles, as you saw. Because he'll walk, he'll walk up to me and then, like, he'll, the whole animation will roll and then, like, a few seconds later, then everything will be thrown out. And, yeah. So, so yeah, um, he had a level eight snubble, so that was very exciting, cause, cause I, my king was at level nine. And then Gliger level ten, like I was expecting, like twelve. But it was actually level 10. And remember, we have the 10% increase on all the trainers and the gym leaders. That's what I had set it to. I know, for, I know, I'm sure it starts off slow and then it kind of gets higher, like as you go on. But, but yeah. So I was surprised that they had 10 because I was expecting more. And like that one was easy, way easy. Don't have a little bad sound, but yeah. So I got the badge, very good. The TM that I got, I got Hyper Fang. It's not bad. Like I'll take it. Better than getting something like, like Leer or Growl or something like that. Cause I remember I played, I was playing those like one time and I got like I think Leer. I literally got Leer. I was like, wow, literally the worst, the worst, the most useless TM that I could get. Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty, I mean, I don't know. It wasn't gonna be used at all. Yeah, so I won that, and then it stops here because I get a phone call. But yeah. Now I get an egg, so now since I, I got my gym badge, I get the egg. So that's exciting too, that's another, not an encounter, but another mod that we could possibly add to the team. So, that's very good. I don't know what it'll be. Hopefully something good. Something cool. Anything. Really, like I said, anything helps at this point to get more mods on our team. So far, we haven't run into anything crazy. Well, the craziest thing I'd say is probably the Ampharos and the Charizard, but you never know. Start running into freaking Mewtwo's and Mews and all these other mons, Tyranitar, just other mons. Meaning like battle-wise, not like wild, uh, wild encounters-wise. And yeah, I finally got more money, so I can finally buy balls and get these encounters. I. Probably, honestly, I'm gonna go down. No, I think it'd be better to go to Bell Sprout Tower because I feel like you don't run into Pokemon that easy. Go in there and get all those like trainers and try to get as much money as I can. Like, I was only able to get five balls. I don't remember if I showed up my ball count, but I have five plus I want to say two or three. Yeah, I think I do. See, oh, we got eight Pokeballs and one friend ball, so basically like nine, nine balls. 
Uh, that's not bad, but like I said, just to be sure. But I think I'll probably go with Bellsprout Tower, because I feel like you don't run into Pokemon as easy as you would, like, going through the grass. Um, but yeah, I was just basically wrapping it up. I think, I'm pretty sure at this point, at this point I was wrapping it up, and whatnot. Um, yeah, it just, it just really sucked. Like I said, I know I repeat myself very times, but I was really bummed, like, I was really upset for a long, so I was just like, damn, like, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, what's gonna go on, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, either way though, if, if you watch this, I really appreciate it. Because I know the sound was messed up and I had to fix it on my own. But regardless, if you watch this, thank you very much. I'm gonna have the next episode up soon. So if you like this, if you enjoyed this episode, and the work I put into the editing, you should like and subscribe, and... Hoping for the next episode will be much better. It'll be great and all that. Uh, but yeah, so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.